Wellness Wednesday is brought to you by Adventist Health. It is time to head back into the kitchen for a healthy treat. And with me this morning, Priscilla Medrano from the Kern County Edible School Yard, a program of the Grin Family Education Foundation. And I'll tell you, you've got a healthy salad that we're going to be talking about today. Yeah. So we're actually making one of my favorite salads. We're making a spring panzanella, which is basically crouton salad. And who doesn't love croutons, right? I do. <laughs> so we're going to start with the most important part. It's our vinaigrette. Okay, so in my small bowl. I'm and some people think vinaigrettes are so hard, but I know I've made vinaigrette in the past with you, yeah. so, and it's really so easy. And the trick that made it easy for me is the mason jar. It's the jar. Yeah, we're not doing the jar today. We're going to do right. just uh, our small bowl and whisk. So I'm going to add in my, and honestly, these are ingredients you probably already have at home. So I'm going to add in my, my Dijon mustard. It has to be Dijon mustard because yellow mustard will taste not uh, so good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Big difference. <laughs> yeah, big difference. <laughs> um, I'm going to add in my lemon juice. All right. And everybody has a lemon tree in the backyard. Yeah, pretty much. Like, yeah, you always have lemons in your fridge as well. Or you should always have lemons as well in your fridge because you never know. I'm going to add in my salt and pepper. So the thing with the vinaigrette, I will always say it, is that you want your vinaigrette to taste a little bit salty just by itself because it's going to give our vegetables all the flavor. All right, I'm going to. So I'm whisking right now, and I'm going to add in my oil nice and slow because I want it to emulsify. So our, our mustard is the emulsifier. It's going to make our vinaigrette nice and creamy. If it's looking a little wardy, don't worry. Just keep on whisking. And again, you could just do this in a mason jar, but we decided to do this today because sometimes it's just really relaxing. The sound of the chime of the glass, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. As you can see, and there's there's our vinaigrette, our lemon vinaigrette. That took us less than uh, like two minutes. Yeah, pretty fast, right? All right. So now let's move on to our salad. Now that our vinaigrette is done, so I'm going to start off with a couple of handfuls of lettuce. But if you wanted to do kale, that would be great as well. Right. I'm and so many people use like iceberg lettuce, stuff like that, but there's really not a lot of nutrients in iceberg lettuce, right? There really isn't. Now, you want to go for the darker leafy greens. Perfect. They definitely have more uh, vitamins and nutrients. So I'm going to add in my asparagus, which is in season. It's already, it's been blanched. So I'm not sure if you know uh, blanching is, but so you would uh, boil the asparagus for a couple of minutes in salted water, and then you shock it in cold water, and it keeps like the really nice vibrant color. I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but it's beautiful. Because you might not think that boiled vegetables are delicious, but they really are. Especially in a salad like this. So I'm going to add in my white beans. I have cannellini beans, but you could also do chickpeas. I'm going to add in my chopped green onion. You could also do a red onion, but the green onion is really nice in the spring dish. All right, and now the star of the salad, we have our croutons. And if people want to be real adventurous, they can make homemade croutons. Yeah, you, yeah, these, yeah, you can make homemade croutons, all right? And they have to be, um, I'm not sure if you can hear, but they're really crunchy. They're stale. And stale bread is perfect for absorbing all of our flavors. So you'll want to add in all of our delicious vinaigrette. All right, and this salad just tastes better as it sits. So you want to give it a good toss. And this is actually, you know, you could even add maybe some uh, chicken to it. Oh, you could totally have chicken. And this chicken could be like a meal. This could be dinner. This is definitely a meal. And let me tell you, we make this with our fifth graders, and they love this recipe. I mean, they're scraping the bowl every single time. I know. I didn't have dinner plans tonight, but I'm thinking <laughs> about getting this recipe in full and making it for dinner tonight. You definitely should. Don't miss out on these uh, blanched asparagus and these beans in the salad. They're really yummy. And that is our spring panzanella. Very nice. And we want to remind everybody that, uh, you know, you guys have a summer camp. And uh, sign-ups are coming up real soon on yeah. April 19th. April 19th. And uh, you can go to esykerncounty.org uh, to sign up. And I know they fill up really quick. Yeah. So make sure you check that out. Again, uh, the registrations will open on April 19th. Thank you so much, Priscilla, for joining us. Another great recipe. Bye, Kevin.